Hello, everybody out there in the Frontline Universe. Chris and Mike here from Comic Frontline, and this is going to be a different type of video. Uh, this is definitely something, A, I was not prepared for. We've done this intro multiple, I've done this intro multiple times already, and B, I was hoping we have way more time before I'd have to worry about doing this type of video, and you already know what it is because it's in the title above. Uh, it was announced today at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time that Stan Lee uh, has passed away. He passed away, and it was announced by his daughter. Uh, ambulance was called to his house, and he was announced dead on um, by the time they had got there. So, um, obviously, the news spread across the internet like wildfire. Everyone's talking about it as this video is going live, as we're recording this, and even before we recorded this, everybody's talking about it. And uh, Stan Lee was one of the first winners of the Frontline uh, Legends Award. Back then, it was Dark Avenger Inc., um, he was the first inductee and he was the first winner and um, Stanley was the grandfather godfather He was there from all the way at the beginning of so it's basically fill in the blank of comics um, He was very passionate his whole life was dedicated to comic books to writing to his work to his characters and Stanley created a lot nine a good percentage of Marvel, um, and Marvel is where it is today, uh, I feel, and I'm sure a lot of people feel, because of what Stanley did way back when he first started at Marvel. Uh, Stanley created characters like Spider-Man, first and foremost, everybody knows that. Fantastic Four, X-Men, the, the Hulk. Did he do the Hulk? He I created the Hulk. the Hulk, yeah. Are you triple sure about that? I mean, he has made some cameos in the film. And he was in all the Marvel films. Well, not all. There, there was some that he was not in. No, like he was in Ghost everything. Rider and that wasn't a Mar that was. I'm talking about well, from Marvel from Studios. Marvel Studios yeah. is what he was I'm in at, all the yeah. films. So at least he got to see that. Unfortunately, and hopefully we'll have an appearance. At least they recorded his appearance in the last part to Infinity. But um, it's very sad news. And um, when I think of Stanley, there's so many stories uh, that go through my mind that were my favorites uh amazing fantasy obviously when he created spider-man fantastic four number one the create the birth of the fantastic four the first family of marvel um i first read stanley before all that um my first introduction to his, some new work was when i was reading dc and dc um brought him on to do one shots. One was of Superman. One was of the Justice League. Basically, it was Stan Lee's version of the DC superheroes. And I remember reading Superman, and I was like, "That's pretty cool." And then I read, obviously, Justice League, and and the few others he did. And um, Stan Lee was a visionary. Stan Lee was many, many things. And there's a lot of work I still have yet to read from Stan Lee, but um, he is definitely going to be missed. I know a lot of people are saying that, you know, especially because of his health conditions and all the stuff that was going on in his life, um, we knew at some point something was going to happen. 95 years old, he lived an amazing life. It sucks that to the end, towards the end of that life, there was so much drama in his life. Um, but uh, he is going to be missed and a huge part of the creation of comics. Now, you could be watching this hundreds of years in the future, granted if YouTube's around hundreds of years in the future, or if this video doesn't make it somewhere hundreds of years in the future, Stan Lee was at the beginning of it all, the very beginning of comic books. And no matter how long comic books move on, he will always have been there at the creation, at the beginning of it all. And um, that's very important. And I feel like we've lost one of the great pillars to the beginning of what comic books are today. Yeah. Uh, it's really an emotional day for all of us comic book fans. I mean, Stan the Manly, I mean, he was a true Marvel comic book uh, writer and a legend to all of us. He went beyond Marvel. He, he created yeah. He created several, I think it was Kablam it's called? I, I think it was that, yeah. But Not the cartoon I, from Nickelodeon. I actually can say that... Um, oh no, it was Pow. Pow, yeah. Pow. I mean, I could say as uh, a comic book reader, like he got me into Spider-Man, mm -hmm. and every time I read a Spider-Man comic book, 
There's so much that you could learn from him. There were so many stories he like, told. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, you know, with Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. And just so many things that he has brought to all of us in the audience. Like, he's taught me a lot with reading his Marvel comic books, whether it was Spider-Man or Fantastic Four or any other Marvel comic book. And he even did that uh, TV show of uh, Who Wants to Be a Superhero yeah, also. Two that seasons. was amazing. And that was yes, amazing. that was amazing. And he just, he was a very inspirational person out there like this was as a writer i looked up to him and ho- exactly. could only you dream yeah you could only dream about reaching where he reached at 95 i know and when he was at that last year well last uh, standing at new york comic con you know there was like a long line i really wish that was i was able to meet him like two years that ago. was my only regret and my only thing that i kept saying every year we went to new york comic con and it was all over i regretted not meeting stan lee because you know Especially with the oncoming medical conditions, you didn't know. None of us knew. I mean, everybody was kind of clinching, and we were all hoping for 114, but uh, more or or beyond that. But uh, we were all kind of nervous, and we were all expecting, you know. And then it happened now. And my only regret is I never got to meet him. As passionate as he was about his writing and about comic books, I feel like we lost a huge member of the writing community of the comic book universe and even the comic book community he may not have reviewed comics but he was a he is the reason why there is a comic book community without his work we wouldn't be talking about comic books we wouldn't have spider-man fantastic four we would have nothing just saw guys oh we would have we would have stuff but we wouldn't have all of the characters that we have today we sure would have a lot less but this man has taught everybody a lot about even what it's like to be a superhero or even just a regular human being. Whether it, it doesn't matter if you have superpowers or not superpowers, it's that you mean something. And that's the message that brought us yeah. all out. He brought that humanity to his something. characters. He brought his humanity to his characters. Especially yeah, we have powers in, in our own way. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah. it, it's just, it's really hard. For me to do this, because you know, I, I know it is for you too. But but for you're me, you are the Marvel person. Right. I was always the DC. You one, know, yeah. between going with Spider-Man video games that he was in. Oh, that was another the PlayStation, one. PlayStation, True yeah. Believers, and Excelsior. I was even the black suited Spider-Man for this past Halloween. I said Excelsior on our Brooklyn uh, Boys video, yeah. you know, just for that. Um, there's just so much more. I, I just can't believe in. Hearing this, it's just an emotional day for all of us yeah, in the comic book community. So, so now, um, I don't want to make this video too too long. So uh, for all of you watching, if you'd like to share your favorite moments, your I, I think I'm going to call it hashtag Stan Lee moments, uh, feel free to share those in the comments below. We'll give it a hashtag in the comments as well. Um, like I said, my Stan Lee moments go anywhere from the beginning of the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, to... His very, very short-lived run in DC Comics where he translated all the DC characters the way he would like it. So, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's so many moments. And, and the cameos in all the movies were other were definitely Stanley moments I love. For sure. Totally. And that'll be, uh, that'll be it for one now. For uh, one of us has to walk off screen, so I will, you could say, a couple more words while, yeah. I'm, so, while I'm going there. All I just got to say is... Uh, he was a genius when it came to comic books, especially for me, and he will forever be missed from all of us, and I really hope that, you know, I mean, he joined with his wife that passed away two years ago, uh, a year ago, if I remember correctly, yep. and uh, at this time, actually, and uh, it's just sad just to see this, but all I gotta say to Stan Lee is thanks for being a true believer to all of us, teaching us about what it means of everything and teaching us many more things in comic books in general and all I gotta say is just Excelsior.